Hi, I'm Breeze. I'm having a whoosh through the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, site of the famous London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Have a look. Isn't it great? I think it's stunning. So do all my friends. The trees, the flowers, wildlife, water. And who wouldn't fall for the curves of the Olympic Stadium, the velodrome, the aquatic centre? This place is so beautiful now, a million miles from what I used to see when I breezed through. What a sight. 150 years of industrial soil pollution, waterways clogged with invasive weeds and trolleys, empty broken factories. A total mess, actually. Until they built the Olympic Park, and what a task that was. Creating a mecca for sports fans, the biggest urban park in the UK in more than 200 years. A thousand experts were involved from Atkins alone. Designers, engineers and scientists. It was a 15-year job really, but they did it in less than three, sustainably and on budget. And not one serious accident. Alright my son, I'm Rick. Me and my mates have been here since the year dark. I tell you, we thought our time was up when Atkins remediation team started the big clean-up. 200 buildings to flatten and many of them derelict. But you've got to hand it to them. 98% of the rubble got recycled. <sighs> I bet that out. But guess who dodged a big grind-up? Yeah, me. And the boys. We were a sweet factory 100 years back. But Atkins saved us and now we're part of the visitor space inside the new energy centre. Drop by for a cuppa. Yes, you bricks stick together. As if you have any choice. It's all right watching the action, but I was in the thick of it. A quarter of a million people used me on the busiest days. The designers put a lot of effort into my chums and I. I'm sure it shows. Because I'm a transformer. Just you wait. I'm being slimmed down after the games, so I'm more suitable for my community role. Suits me fine. Take a look at my bird and bat boxes too. I'm never happier than when I hear the sound of feet or the flapping of wings across and under my steel. I can't tell you how many feet walked across me during the games. I tried to tell them, slow down. Think about the effort that went into getting me here. The scientists and technicians who washed away 150 years of contamination and graded the soil so I had somewhere safe to lie. The flora and fauna next to me. They didn't just magically appear. Atkins put them in. And now I'm full of seeds, spores and pollen. And they're all locals because Atkins took thousands of seeds from the wilderness here. From sedges, reeds and wildflowers. Then they got their green fingers out and tended the baby plants in a nursery until they could be brought back home to the nice, freshly clean soil. End result. The ecosystem stayed local. Hi, I'm Lee, River Lee. I'm lucky to be alive, you know. It was really touch and go. I'd been strangled by that clingy knotweed and floating pennywort. Cars, trolleys, fridges, every piece of junk you can imagine was dumped in me. Pulling out the junk was tough, but it took Atkins several years to get rid of the invasive weeds. Spraying, injecting, building in nets, dragging it out. Oh, I can breathe again now. It'll be great when the otter halts that were built are full. And I've even got new places for fish to spawn in. If you take a stroll with me, you can see the whole park. Look, there's the Olympic Stadium. There's one of my 23 bridges. Hmm, there's a coot making himself at home. Howdy, great place you've got here. Oh, you're welcome. And this is where they floated the big screens during games time. Ah, oh, here's my beautiful companion, the riverbank. Thank you, gracious river. I used to be abrupt, very steep and thick with weeds. The engineers sculpted my banks, so I now gently greet my friend, the river. My profile's perfect now, and I'm much better at stopping flooding. They thought about my new flowers, too. No point putting in a load of daffs that would get sick at the first sign of a bit of silt. Instead, the team carefully tested 
46 different types of plants and flowers in here. Before they selected the best ones for the park, they call it bioengineering. And it worked to treat. You look okay. Nice for frogs, innit? Atkins are designed as a nice new hole. We're here with our mates, the newts and the lizards. They got moved out when they cleaned the water. All back now. Got our own frog ponds too. Great for flies. I'm stuffed. It's all about bums on seats. No wonder sports fans from all over the globe needed to rest on me. New York, Shanghai, Reykjavik, Swansea. And in the future I'll be playing host to a lot more bums from the East End when the park becomes theirs. Let's hope they're a bit more careful than the fellow who left his phone behind. Lucky me though, there was some really interesting stuff on it. The parklands on the north side, the wetlands, are absolutely brilliant. It feels like it's been here for years already. It feels very natural and very part of the area. What has been achieved over the last five years or so is quite extraordinary. Atkins always had the locals in mind. As the road said, my soil was in a very bad way, full of chemicals and contamination. I heard them say they might send thousands of tonnes of me by lorry to be cleaned up, but they helped create the UK's biggest soil hospital and patched me up right here in the park instead. That meant a lot fewer lorries trundling through the East End. Now, I don't want to have a go at the brick for claiming to be the park's oldest inhabitant, but I was here well before him. I deserved the attention I got. They had archaeologists surveying me before the big diggers appeared. In return, I gave up a few of my treasures. They're in museums now, so everyone can enjoy them. End result? I'm now so clean you could eat your dinner off me. Well, a picnic anyway. Listen to them going on, Breeze. We all got care and attention from Atkins. Generations of my family grew here. They made sure we could stay, preserving the natural habitat and ensuring native trees like me could survive and thrive. I'm thriving too, Tree. I love the views as I drift around the park and it's great ruffling the hair of so many visitors. Time to leave. Spreading the word and spreading the seeds as I go. Cheerio, my friends. I don't like leaving the park these days, but I'll always treasure my memories of what the clever engineers, designers and scientists achieved. I'm off now. Asia, Pacific, the Middle East, Europe, North America. Amazing. Everywhere I go, Atkins are already using what they learned on the park to help meet the world's infrastructure challenges of tomorrow. <laughs>